father. Someone's messy. One afternoon, Kanga opened the door to Roo's room, and was very surprised by what she saw. What a mess! Said Kanga. But Mama, every time I clean my room, it just gets messy again. Said Roo. And anyway, it doesn't really bother me. Well, it bothers me a lot," said Kanga. "Please tidy up your room. I can't even get to your dresser to put away these clean clothes. I'm tired of telling Roo to clean up his room all the time," thought Kanga. "And it doesn't do a bit of good." Then Kanga had an idea. She would try something different. She would let Roo's room get as messy as he wanted it. I've decided you're right," Kanga told Roo. "I don't think you should clean your room if you don't want to. After all, it will just get dirty again." "Great," said Roo. "Anyway, I can't clean up now. Pooh and Tigger are coming over to play ball. If I can find my ball." Roo finally found his ball and was about to leave when Tigger and Winnie the Pooh came into his room. Oh bother! It's raining, so we can't play ball. Pooh complained. Then let's play in my room. Roo replied, "We can do whatever we want in my room, because it's already messy." Oh boy! said Tigger, bouncing gleefully. Tiggers just love messy rooms. Tigger, Pooh, and Roo had a great time. They threw papers on the floor and tossed toys and games everywhere. It was fun for a while until there was no more room to play in all the mess. Where are you going? Kanga asked Roo when she saw him heading outside with his pail and shovel. To get some mud, Roo answered excitedly. We're going to make mud pies in my room. You can do what you want in your room," said Kanga, biting her tongue. "But please don't track mud all over my clean kitchen floor." When Roo got back with the mud, he and his friends made lots of mud pies. And as the afternoon wore on, Roo's room got messier and messier. "Oh bother! Things are sticking to me," said Pooh. "Ouch!" Yelled Tigger as he bounced onto a half-hidden toy airplane. Tiggers hate messy rooms. As soon as it stopped raining, Tigger and Pooh said goodbye to Roo. We promise to visit Piglet this afternoon. Pooh told Roo. Roo got lonely playing all by himself, so he put some toys in his wagon and set off for the hundred-acre wood to find someone else to play with. Dear me! Who's making all that mess? Owl called out as he flew above Roo. What mess? Asked Roo. Just look around, Roo. Replied Owl. You're littering up the hundred-acre wood with all your toys. Sorry, said Roo. Roo continued walking through the hundred-acre wood. Suddenly, he noticed Eeyore watching him through the bushes. Uh oh! Somebody's making a mess," muttered Eeyore, "and they'll probably blame me." Sorry," said Roo, and he stopped to pick up his things. Soon, Roo came to Piglet's house. He knocked, and Piglet opened the door. Inside, Roo could see Pooh and Tigger playing. "Hi, Piglet! Can I come in and play?" Roo asked. Piglet thought it over. Well, I just cleaned my house, Roo, so you can come in if you promise not to make a mess. Roo wiped his muddy hands and feet and left his wagon outside. Isn't Piglet's place terrific? Asked Tigger when he saw Roo. It sure was. Everything was in order in Piglet's house. His games and puzzles and art supplies were neatly labeled and kept in a special place. Roo was having a wonderful time playing in Piglet's tidy house. Golly, we could play here forever! I can find anything I want. Roo said. Yes, Pooh agreed. Even honey. Roo was having so much fun. He lost track of time. He was very surprised when Kanga knocked on the door. I've been looking all over for you, Roo said Kanga. It's time to come home for dinner. 
He'll be right with you, Kanga, said Piglet. But I have a rule that everyone must help put the toys away before they leave. We'll do it together, Roo said happily. That night, Roo was very tired. He was all set for bed when he discovered that he had a big problem. He couldn't find his bed in all the mess. He asked Kanga what to do. Well, you can either try and find your bed or sleep on the couch tonight, Kanga kindly suggested. It's your decision. The next morning, Kanga was outside hanging clothes on the line when she saw Pooh, Piglet, and Tigger walking toward her. Where's Roo? asked Pooh. He's in his room, said Kanga. I think he would like to clean it, but it's such a mess now, he doesn't know where to start. Oh dear, said Piglet. Maybe we can help. Yes, you can, and I know just how, whispered Kanga. Pooh, Piglet, and Tigger agreed to go home and get some big boxes. When Pooh, Piglet, and Tigger returned to the house, Roo answered the door. Hey, buddy boy, Tigger said to Roo. We're here to have a Tiggerific party, Tigger announced. Roo hung his head. Well, I don't think it would be much fun here. My room is such an awful mess. Pooh chuckled. That's all right. You see, this is a cleaning up party. Roo's friends helped him sort through his things. Soon Roo had special places for all his toys. It would be easy to keep his room clean from now on. My room looks great, said Roo. And if you remember to put your stuff away when you're finished playing, it will always be neat as a tigger. His bouncy friend said, Can we eat now? asked Pooh. I brought along a smackerel of honey. Oh no, said Roo. If we eat in here, we'll mess up my clean room. So Roo and his friends had a picnic outside. I'm really proud of you, Roo. You chose to tidy up your room. And I didn't even have to ask you, said Kanga. Oh, Mama, from now on, I'll always have a clean room. And I'll help you keep the rest of the house clean, too. Look, I even cleaned my plate. So did I, said Winnie the Pooh. Now may I please have a smidgen more? The end. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos.